Hello and welcome to the Extended Greg YouTube channel. I'm Greg and on today's show we're going to be taking a look at some mini tripod options. Let's get into it. So the first mini tripod we're going to take a look at I've had for quite a while and it's the Ultrapod. And this particular one uh, I've made a few modifications. So it does have the ability to, it, com it came with a uh, clamp down cell phone holder. Uh, and that allows you to be able to clamp a cell phone in here, but it's extremely lightweight and the construction is actually very rigid for its application. So I'll open it up here. So it has some Velcro to be able to keep it together. And when you take it out, it just is standard three legs and it just sets on the table like that but it's very rigid you have a little bit of adjustability by turning the knob here you get two levels of articulation so you can actually go through and balance it a little bit and what I've done is I've added in this particular case a Falcam uh, receiver for an Arca Swiss uh, quick release plate so that will just slide in there and then I can quickly release it and be on my way. And I've liked this one over the years because the weight is minimal. This is all plastic construction, you know, but it is very high quality plastic. I don't know if it has glass fiber content or something of that nature to make it um, that resilient. Uh, but realistically, it's been um, a pretty good workhorse over the years especially during hiking trips, things of like that. So it's the Ultrapod 2. And, you know, I don't know if they've come out with a newer version since then uh, or whatnot, but, you know, from my opinion, I think it's uh, very good. And either for holding a camera or for holding a monitor or something of that nature, uh, it's very effective. So originally what I had for this tripod was this right here, which is just a simple clamp style phone holder and it actually has a pretty good range it holds the phone very well just has a quarter 20 on the bottom and whatnot and I can still technically use that by using an Arca, Arca Swiss uh, compatible adapter plate so with this with the with the adapter it just fits in like that you know and I can quickly attach and remove it or change out accessories or change out cameras as needed to be able to, you know, utilize the tripod very quickly. And I do like that about the Arca Swiss standard in general, is it's a very light and small form factor for smaller cameras uh, to be able to, you know, have that flexibility without the large form factor that would otherwise come with larger plates or a proprietary option that wouldn't be compatible or interoperable across manufacturers. So I think that that's really part of the strength of the Arca Swiss uh, standard. And generally, that's how things go with standards. Once somebody defines what it is, if everybody picks it up and follows it, then everything's great for everybody. So, but that's the Ultrapod 2. And I've since gotten another one. So the next tripod that I got and this is the one that I'm currently trying out is the Jobby. And this is the 3K version. So it's a bit more heavy duty and a little bit heavier uh, than the 1K version. But the thing I liked about it is that the head was interchangeable. In this particular case, the head on this one is a proprietary plate. So it is a quick release, everything else like that. But there's a couple things I didn't like about it, right? So it's ball head to a permanently mounted plate. So if we look at the actual plate, we see that it's got a very thin piece of plastic here. And I'm afraid that that's going to break off when I try and use it. And then, of course, the plate becomes useless as well as the actual mount. Um, it also has this bubble level, which feels like it's going to fall out at any point. So the overall quality just didn't feel that great. So I couldn't actually switch this out just the plate part of it for one of my standard plates, but I could switch the entire head. So when I unscrew it like this, we see that it's just got 3 8 inch receiver on the bottom and a 3 8 inch bolt on the top. 
And that allowed me to switch it out for this newer head. Now this one just threads right on. Same ball style, because at the end of the day, I'm not really using this for panning, tilting, or anything else like that, although I probably could. But I did like the fact that it had the Arca Swiss quick release plate adapter built in. So if we take like the same mount from before, we can just slide it in and a few turns and it's nicely mounted, you know, so it's just not going, <laughs> not going anywhere if I had it tight. So it's very useful to be able to quickly set up the camera just like the other one was. And it's compatible with the same plates so I don't have to change out anything on any of my cameras. And then we still get the flexibility of using the ball to be able to level and adjust it. The one thing I find weird about this particular head is that it's got the bubble level on the side. And in my particular case, I don't see how that's relevant since most of the time it would be sitting like this, you know? So it would be on the side and obviously would not work like that. So I think there's, you know, it seems kind of gimmicky, but you know, at the end of the day, it works as the end of a of the knob, so I don't really care. It doesn't hurt anything. And I'll use the camera's internal capability to be able to level, to be able to determine what is level. So that doesn't really hurt it. And if we look at the tripod itself, right? So it's designed to articulate so you can wrap it around a pipe, a tree limb, uh, whatever you happen to find in place, or to just set it up, kind of stretch it into place, and then be able to do your final adjustment with, with the actual uh, ball head. So, you know, overall I think it's a very viable uh, and still very lightweight option with just a little bit more uh, capacity as well as some more flexibility because of the articulating legs to be able to do that. So as an accessory for this, because I didn't want the bulk of this size of phone holder, you know, I looked at a couple other options and one of them was this, which is just spring loaded and whatnot. And it's actually, it's pretty good and very rigid. You know, it's just got a quarter inch receiver on the back and on the bottom. And the phone just goes in here and sits. Right, so I can hold it, be able to articulate it as needed. And, you know, realistically, it's gonna hold it just fine. But I didn't want it to be plastic. I wanted something a little more uh, definitive that had a similar type of mechanism. And so what I got was this. So this is the Sunway Photo CPC02, whatever it is. So it's just a piece of milled aluminum and machined aluminum that just has a threaded insert, some guide rods, and then some folding claws that come out to actually grab the phone. But the nice thing about this is it actually has the Arca Swiss plate profile already machined into it. So we can take it and put it in as a quick release plate without an additional adapter plate. So that way it's still compatible with all of my devices, everything else like that. And the way that this is set, once you have a phone actually in it, you know, it holds it straight and solid. So it's not an issue at all. And I think that that really is one of its good strengths is it just kind of works and then folds away very, very compact, which makes it good for travel. It's a bit heavier than the plastic option overall, uh, just because it is that metal, but you're not going to have to worry about it breaking at any point uh, just because, 
you know, it's not going to have that same susceptibility. Right, and then we can release it, fold it up, and that's really minimal. And it's aluminum, so it's not going to rust. So it looks like stainless steel as well for the pins and everything. So, but these are the two options that I wanted. I've, you know, I think the mod to the newer head with the Arca Swiss adapter probably should have been something that was capable on the Javi 3K to begin with. And I don't know if there's manufacturers who already have that integrated, but you know, I do like it as it is. And I think the nearer uh, tripod head is quite viable. So, but those are the things that I'm using. So it's that and the UltraPod 2 and the phone mount. So I have the Jobby with the nearer head the UltraPod 2, and the Sunway phone holder. And that's my portable small micro tripods that I'm going to be using uh, this year and also for a trip I have coming up as well. So thanks for watching the video today. If you want to see more videos like this, check out this playlist right here. Also, if you like the video, please hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot and then hit that notification bell. That way you know the next time we're getting extended. So until then, take care.